Hey there, welcome back. Today we're discussing the top 10 most uncommon human facts that you probably did not know until now. So, let's go over them, you'll probably want to stick until the end, it might help you one day. Starting with number 1. Hypnic Jerks. Hypnic Jerks, commonly known as sleep starts or hypnagogic jerks, are sudden involuntary muscle contractions that occur as you're transitioning from wakefulness to sleep. They often manifest as a feeling of falling or a sudden twitching sensation in the arms, legs, or entire body. While the exact cause of hypnic jerks isn't fully understood, they're believed to be a result of the body's natural sleep-wake cycle and the relaxation of muscle tone as you drift off to sleep. Factors such as stress, anxiety, caffeine consumption, and sleep deprivation can increase the frequency and intensity of hypnic jerks. Despite their sometimes startling nature, hypnic jerks are considered a normal physiological phenomenon and typically do not indicate any underlying health issues. 2. Dermal Ridges Dermal ridges, also referred to as dermatoglyphics, are the unique patterns of ridges and grooves found on the fingertips, palms, and soles of the feet. These intricate patterns are formed during fetal development and are determined by a combination of genetic and environmental factors. The primary function of dermal ridges is to enhance grip and traction, allowing for better manipulation of objects and improved friction during locomotion. Additionally, dermatoglyphic patterns are widely used in forensic science and biometrics for identification purposes as they are highly individualistic and remain relatively unchanged throughout a person's life. Despite advances in technology, fingerprints remain one of the most reliable and widely used forms of personal identification. 3. Trichoptilosis Trichoptilosis, commonly known as split ends, is a condition characterized by the splitting or fraying of the hair shafts. It occurs when the protective outer layer of the hair, known as the cuticle, becomes damaged or wears away, exposing the inner cortex. Split ends can be caused by a variety of factors, including excessive heat styling, chemical treatments, mechanical damage from brushing or combing, and environmental factors such as sun exposure and pollution. Once the cuticle is compromised, the hair becomes more prone to breakage and splitting, leading to the formation of split ends. While there is no permanent cure for split ends, regular trims, proper hair care techniques, and minimizing exposure to damaging factors can help prevent their occurrence and improve the overall health and appearance of the hair. 4. Glabrous Skin Glabrous skin refers to the smooth, hairless skin found on certain areas of the body, including the palms of the hands, the soles of the feet, and the lips. Unlike the rest of the body's skin, which contains hair follicles and sebaceous glands, glabrous skin lacks these structures, giving it a distinctive appearance and texture. The absence of hair follicles and sebaceous glands in glabrous skin serves a functional purpose, as it allows for increased sensitivity to tactile stimuli and facilitates activities such as grasping objects, walking, and speaking. Additionally, the lack of hair follicles reduces the risk of friction and irritation making glabrous skin less prone to certain skin conditions such as acne and folliculitis. 5. Photic Sneeze Reflex The photic sneeze reflex, also known as autosomal dominant compelling helioophthalmic outburst ACHOO, syndrome, is a phenomenon characterized by the uncontrollable urge to sneeze in response to sudden exposure to bright light, such as sunlight or artificial lighting. While the exact mechanism underlying this reflex remains unclear, it is believed to involve the close proximity of the trigeminal nerve, which controls the sneezing reflex, to the optic nerve, which transmits visual signals to the brain. When the optic nerve is stimulated by bright light, it may inadvertently activate the trigeminal nerve, leading to the sensation of a sneeze. The photic sneeze reflex is estimated to affect approximately 18 to 35 percent of the population and tends to run in families, suggesting a genetic component to its occurrence. 6. Muscle memory. Muscle memory, also known as procedural memory, refers to the ability of the muscles to perform certain tasks automatically and without conscious effort after repeated practice. Contrary to its name, 
Muscle memory is not stored in the muscles themselves but rather in the brain, specifically in areas such as the cerebellum and basal ganglia, which are involved in motor learning and coordination. Through repeated practice and reinforcement, neural pathways associated with specific movements become more efficient, allowing for smoother and more precise execution of those movements over time. Muscle memory plays a crucial role in skill acquisition and performance across a wide range of activities, from playing musical instruments and sports to typing on a keyboard and driving a car. 7. Thermoregulation Thermoregulation is the process by which the body maintains a relatively constant internal temperature despite fluctuations in the external environment. This complex physiological process involves the coordination of various mechanisms, including vasodilation and vasoconstriction of blood vessels, sweating, shivering, and metabolic heat production. When the body is exposed to excessive heat, such as during physical exertion or hot weather, blood vessels near the skin surface dilate to dissipate heat through radiation and convection, while sweat glands produce sweat that evaporates and cools the skin. Conversely, when the body is exposed to cold temperatures, blood vessels constrict to minimize heat loss, and skeletal muscles may contract involuntarily, shiver, to generate heat. Through these adaptive responses, the body is able to maintain its core temperature within a narrow range, ensuring optimal physiological function and overall health. 8. Vestigial structures. Vestigial structures are remnants of anatomical features that were functional in ancestral species but have lost their original purpose or function in modern organisms. These vestigial structures often persist in organisms due to evolutionary history and can provide valuable insights into the evolutionary relationships between different species. In humans, examples of vestigial structures include the appendix, which is thought to have played a role in digesting cellulose-rich plant material in our herbivorous ancestors, and the coccyx, tailbone, which is a vestige of the tail that was present in our primate ancestors. While vestigial structures may no longer serve a functional purpose, they can still occasionally cause health issues, such as appendicitis in the case of the appendix, highlighting the ongoing evolutionary legacy present in the human body. 9. Heterochromia Heterochromia is a rare condition characterized by a difference in coloration of the iris or skin, resulting in one eye or a portion of one eye being a different color from the other. This color variation can range from subtle differences in shade to distinctively contrasting colors, such as one eye being blue and the other brown. Heterochromia can be classified into two main types, complete heterochromia, where each eye is a completely different color, and sectoral heterochromia, where only a portion of one iris is a different color from the rest. Heterochromia can be inherited genetically or acquired later in life due to injury, disease, or underlying medical conditions such as Horner syndrome or Vardenberg syndrome. While heterochromia is generally harmless and does not affect vision or overall health, it can be associated with certain syndromes or genetic disorders in some cases. 10. Mammalian Diving Reflex The mammalian diving reflex, also known as the diving response, is a remarkable physiological adaptation that occurs in mammals, including humans, when they are submerged in water. This reflex is particularly pronounced in aquatic mammals such as seals, whales, and dolphins, but it is also present in humans, albeit to a lesser extent. When the face, particularly the area around the eyes and nose, comes into contact with cold water, a series of physiological changes are triggered in the body to conserve oxygen and increase the chances of survival in an underwater environment. The primary components of the mammalian diving reflex include bradycardia, slowing of the heart rate, peripheral vasoconstriction, narrowing of blood vessels in the extremities, and blood shift, redistribution of blood flow to vital organs such as the heart and brain. These adaptive responses serve to reduce oxygen consumption minimize the risk of hypoxia, oxygen deficiency, and extend the duration of time that an individual can remain submerged underwater without experiencing adverse effects. While the mammalian diving reflex is most commonly associated with aquatic mammals, its presence in humans underscores our evolutionary connection to our aquatic ancestors and highlights the remarkable adaptability of the human body in extreme conditions. 
That's it for this video, if you've enjoyed it then you'll probably enjoy my other videos too, check them out. Also, don't forget to subscribe and like this video, it really helps me out and it help you not miss out on any new interesting facts.